guys I'm back on site mortar bed is done I've already swept up so what you want to do the next day what's real important like I like to do I showed you guys in the videos in the past um, you know I missed it with a spray bottle of water hit it with the flat metal trowel real good and then just missed it one more time and what that does anything that's loose on a surface it'll make it bond together because what happens is it'll kind of like fluff off i hear a lot of guys on youtube you know you got to do it you don't need to pack it that hard or this or that it's not about you could pack it really hard that's not the problem of why it's going to slough off or basically just kind of crumble off on the surface what's happening is it's not bonded together so once you pack it down, screw it out, you got to use your flat trowel and make sure you close the surface so that way it's all one piece. If there's anything that's loose, it's just going to fall off the next day. It'll get hard, but it'll still fall off once you start troweling or do anything on it. You still will always have some residual sand on the surface. So I go, go around and take a hand brush, brush everything off, put it to one core or whatever, vacuum it. Because um, you want to make sure you want to make sure the surface is really clean with no sand because I've had problems in the past Where you're thin setting down your sheet membrane of your choice and I'm using my My tape and knife whatever you like to use to screed it out and you're going this way Then you hit a piece of sand and now you have a hole in the membrane so you really want to make sure you have no sand on the, on, the, on the surface here. Nothing that's going to make you have that scenario. You really want to avoid that. So like I said, use a flat trowel, metal one, close the surface. And like I said, I like to mist it with a spray bottle of water. And that really helps anything that's loose on the surface bond back together. And then when you come back with the trowel, you'll bring it back together and it'll be one compact mortar bed. That's real important. You can see nothing's coming off. Everything is going to be like sandy feel somewhat, but it's on it. It's all one piece. Everything is solid. So it's not going to be coming apart here. It's real important that you take your flat trowel and press it together. It should be good. So what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm cleaning up this whole thing. The vacuum and I'm pre-cut the curdy for the whole shower base here. All the banding, the top sheet piece here everything pre-cut that way once i mix up my thin set i can just start going and uh get it done relatively quickly there you go